Hey guys, welcome back to Life App Education TV. In today's video, I wanted to mention the life application of one plus one has never been equal to two. So I'll tell you what I mean. I was watching this movie called Lucy that had Scarlett Johansson in it. And she said something very interesting and I actually have it as a quote word by word. So I'm gonna read it. Time is the only true unit of measure. It gives proofs to the existence of matter. Without time, we don't exist. Humans consider themselves unique, so they rooted their whole theory of existence on their uniqueness. One is their unit of measure, but it's not. All social systems we put in place are a mere sketch. One plus one equals two. That's all we've learned, but one plus one has never been equal to two. There are, in fact, no numbers and no letters. We've qualified our existence to bring it down to human size to make it comprehensible. Time gives legitimacy to its existence. Time is the only true unit of measurement. And this whole statement was very intriguing to me so I wanted to look further into what this meant and what I found out actually was that this statement that we just read is partially true but actually the true unit of measurement is only the energy that's what I found and this is the summary of the answer I found is time the only true unit of measurement this person says no and yes Time gives everything its existence, but it is not the true unit of measure. The nature of time is to flow, and the nature of the observer is to see the rate. For a faster person, time passes slowly, such as a flash, a superhero. For a slower person, time passes quickly, such as a sloth. If we measure mass, we actually measure a relative entity that has come into effect by a particular amount of energy collecting together. Therefore, we can say that energy is the true unit of measure. Time, for instance, comes when we measure the amount of energy passing through a point per unit time. We have defined one second in scientific terms, however, this depends on the frame of reference. If we sit inside of the train, is approaching the speed of light. One second inside that train will be more than one second outside that train. However, the speed of time changes when it is near a lot of energy concentrated at the one point, such as a black hole or sun or anybody that has the capacity to significantly affect its speed. So the speed of time is not universally constant and cannot be accepted as a true measure. So the bottom line here is that we made all these rules starting from one plus one equal two to even your name to make our lives easier. But what it does instead sometimes is to cripple us. It makes us dwell too much on staying within the boundary, staying within the rule that we know of. But if you think about it, everything is man-made. And what makes, what becomes so uncomfortable is that in life, like this, this can be said about life. Like in life, there's no right answer. I think it's a good reminder by just knowing that everything is man-made, even the concept of time, what it feels like the most scientific um, you know, term, the scale of measurement is still man-made. When you remind yourself that, you kind of notice like, wow, everything is man-made and there's no right answer. There's no answer. There's no hidden answer in life, right? And it does feel uncomfortable to know that there is no like one plus one equal two. It does feel uncomfortable because the whole life we were told that look for, search for the answer, one plus one equal two, like the search for the two, the answer. And same same thought processes apply when, when it comes to finding the success moment, the successful moment. We are all trying to get to it. Like we're all trying to break that, like break it into to the successful moment, right? Um, but in reality, like 
There's the quote that I often share, which speaks really loudly in my head, is that, you know, if you're stupid, you're confused. If you're smart, you're perhaps more confused. So life is not about figuring everything out. Life is about figuring out how to use your confusion to your benefit. So, and I resonate a lot with that, is that maybe the whole life, nothing will make sense maybe in the end of the day. We kind of provide ourselves with perspective like this sometimes. It really makes you realize like, wow, yeah, there is no such thing as an answer that I'm like supposed to seek out for. It's gonna be an uncomfortable journey, but what you can commit is what you can control, which is to always look out for the growth, always look out for how positively can I take perhaps my most confusions and confusing times and failures like that's all you can focus on and that's the best skill you can develop so that's it that's that's the life application here um thank you very much for watching you guys and 